Today's paper is Deep SVG, a hierarchical generative network for vector graphics animation. The work proposes a hierarchical transformer-based generative network that generates and interpolates complex scalable vector graphic icons. The model is capable of both encoding and predicting the draw commands that constitute an SVG image. Together with their work, the authors released large-scale SVG icons dataset for further research in the field. Existing vector graphics dataset either only contain straight lines or are constrained to font generation. The authors of the paper introduce a new dataset called SVG icons, which consists of 100,000 high-quality icons in 56 different categories. Different from raster graphics, where the content is represented using rectangular grid of pixels. Vector graphics employs, in essence, mathematical formulas to encode different shapes. Scalable vector graphics, also called as SVG, is an XML-based format for vector graphics. In its simplest form, an SVG image is built up hierarchically as a set of shapes called paths. A path itself is defined as a sequence of drawing commands that constitute a closed or open curve. A list of draw commands are shown in the table. Each vector graphics image V is defined as a set of n paths P, where each path P is defined as a triplet S, F, and V, where V indicates the visibility of the path, F determines the fill property, and S contains sequence of n commands C, where command C itself is defined by its type C and arguments as listed in the table. Like word embedding vector used in NLP fields, in order to let the encoder network to reason between different commands C, every command is projected to a common continuous embedding space. The embedding space of SVG is formulated as a sum of three embeddings, namely command embedding, coordinate embedding, and index embedding. To generate a command embedding, the command type shown in the previous table is converted to a vector of dimension DE using a learnable matrix. For coordinate embedding, the work follows pixel CNN and polygen and first quantize the coordinates to 8 bits also including a case indicating the use of coordinate argument. This leads to an input dimension of 257 for the embedding itself. Each coordinate is first embedded separately with the weight matrix of size DE by 257, then combined result of each coordinate is projected to a DE dimensional vector using a linear layer. Lastly, Learned index embedding is used to indicate the index of the command in the given sequence. The left figure shows the proposed hierarchical generative network for complex vector graphics interpolation and generation. On the right is the animated walkthrough of the deep SVG architecture. The network is a variational autoencoder consisting of an encoder E and decoder D. Both encoder and decoder networks are designed by considering a hierarchical representation of an SVG image, which consists of a set of paths, each path being a sequence of commands. To keep the permutation invariance property of the path set, every path is encoded independently using a path encoder E1. The encoder E1 takes the embeddings as an input and outputs vectors of the same dimension. To retrieve the single path encoding, the network average pool the output vectors along the sequential dimension. The path encodings are then fed into the encoder E2, where after pulling along the set dimension, outputs the parameters of a Gaussian distribution, mu and sigma. The decoder mirrors the two-stage constructions of the encoder. D2 in the figure takes as input the latent vector Z repeatedly and predicts a representation of each shape in the image. Symmetrically to the encoder, the vectors produced after D2 are decoded by D1 into the final output path representations. 
As for D2, learned constraint embeddings are used as an input and a fully connected network is used to predict the commands and argument logics. Note that the network is inspired by the success of transformer-based architectures, thus both the encoders and the decoders are transformer-based. For more detailed information of the network architecture and the training process, please refer to the paper. The figure shows interpolation between multiple icons in the latent space. The colored blocks are the start and end icons, and the images in between show generative interpolation steps between them. And in this figure shows animated SVG scenes by interpolation. Leftmost and rightmost frames are drawn by a user, while images in between are generated by the Deep SVG network. Deep SVG smoothly interpolates between challenging path deformations while accurately reconstructing the first and last frames. A failure case is shown in the last row where the deformation of the player's right leg is not smoothly interpolated. Lastly, here are some figures generated by the Deep SVG model. On the left shows how latent figures are generated given two user-drawn frames at Z1 and Z2. On the right are the results of interpolations, where the first row shows interpolation between a pair of icons, next row shows interpolation between two user-drawn frames, and the last row shows interpolation of latent space algebra. Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today and I'll see you next time with a new paper.